So week one is on uh, an introduction to um, the main themes of the overall MOOC. It starts with a discussion, maybe let's call it a foundation, sets some foundations. So the first one is on neoliberalism. What is it? How does it work? How has it been working for the last 35 or 40 years? What's the relationship to capitalism? And what does it mean for the planet and social justice and social inequality? And then how are people uh, now discussing the relationship of ecosystem and planetary limits in relationship to neoliberalism? That's the first part of the course that sort of introduces the problem. And we do that in module one. And, and the second half of that module, we say, well, you know what? Throughout this entire period, there's also been long histories of resistance uh, to neoliberalism, even preceding that to some of the inequalities of capitalism. So we begin to show you that it's not a simple top-down power and position, but rather there's been what Polanyi called a double movement of both um, engagement with and protection and social resistance to uh, the overriding power of capital and the economy. And at the same time, there's been other kinds of movements around commons and commoning. So we begin to show you the roots of some of today's contemporary resistance and contemporary alternatives that are being generated, that they have some deeper roots, some deeper history. And we end the module by introducing a couple of opportunities that a couple of examples of new social solidarity or social economy um, initiatives that are what uh, Gar Alperovitz will tell you later in the course are prefigurative of what we think the systems change that has to occur look like. And you'll see some of those uh, in a paper that Mike Lewis wrote uh, for the next system movement. And we introduce those. And then we end with an exercise. We actually look at a Naomi Klein interview about um, the effects of Hurricane Katrina on Puerto Rico. And we ask you to um, and engage with her analysis and to do some reflection on, on how people are resisting and responding to that crisis. And this, in doing this, we're introducing a couple of ways of seeing, I suppose, if we use that phrase, or perspectives. One is the idea of alternatives and resistance, and the second is this idea of multiple levels or multiple level perspectives. Now, there's a very technical school called MLP that we spend a couple minutes on that you should be aware of, but what, what we really like is to get you to begin to think through each uh, crisis or each uh, initiative to in, engage in an alternative, that there are niche or on the ground place-based issues. There are systems, actors and systems, processes that can enable or thwart your innovations. And then there are larger state and landscape level contexts that either open up opportunities or again, can thwart initiatives. And so by doing this multiple level thinking and bringing that lens to each time, each topic in the course, we get you to think both about the role of the state and policy, about the, the role of animators and social intermediaries and social movements, about how systems actors need to be engaged in different roles within the system and how we engage those. And, uh, it, and hopefully, uh, uh, more than hopefully, we know that this way of thinking uh, seems to be the, the emergent way of thinking about how to uh, generate systems change, that you have to be working at multiple levels at all times. And so um, I'm going to end there just by saying, lastly, that you'll notice in this course that we are very excited about what practitioners are doing worldwide, that the grassroots initiatives at local levels and communities and social movements in uh, small NGOs, in larger organized networks are all inspiring to us. And by bringing them together, not all of them, but many good examples of them together in this, in this MOOC, we hope to inspire you and we hope that you can add to these and we'll continue to build not just a repository of good examples, but 
taking seriously this cooperative uh, aspects of this course and the notions of reciprocity that we hope to in, instill in each other is that we want to connect with you. We want to share these so that we can begin to build bridges across our different sectors and to generate a movement. There is a movement, but to strengthen it and use some of these tools to strengthen both the movement and the actions the movement's taking. Great to talk to you. I look forward to talking to you. I won't talk this much every week, but this is the intro. See you then. Bye-bye.